Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Okay. 4.30 p.m. it is. On this Friday afternoon. 4.30 indeed. And uh, we'll be getting this up immediately after it's uh, after it's concluded. It's uh, It's been a busy day. Been a busy day. Wasted uh, a lot of time for absolutely nothing in the end, but... What can you do about that? I went up, went out, tried to do a public review, tried to do this new drink from Taco Bell. They didn't have it. Okay. I looked for something else, found some pretzel place, reviewed the pretzel, only to find that the video itself had a severe technical error, so now that's unusable. So we're back here, and uh, we're going to review some good old M&Ms here. It's something I really wanted to review anyways, so we're just moving it up on the queue, if you will. And uh, now the M&Ms are getting center stage today. Looks like I do want to get a review out for you all, no matter what. And uh, perhaps tomorrow, maybe I'll do some other review for you all. Because, you know, part of me uh, part of me feels bad. You know, I wanted to review something to, you know, and they didn't have it. Not my, not my fault. So M&Ms, a new seasonal type of M&M here. We, we tried the cherry ones last week, and now these are some, some more seasonal M&Ms. These are the M&M's in white strawberry shortcake flavor. White strawberry shortcake flavor. They have the uh, M&M creature here this time around. With uh, hey, a little plate that kind of looks like this plate, actually. Holding a little plate with the strawberry shortcake there. Wearing, uh, wearing a pair of white gloves with some cufflinks and... Uh, some some rabbit ears. I imagine they're trying to to uh, portray the M and M creatures being the Easter Bunny and not <laughs> not not some other type of. <laughs> but anyways, There's nothing more I really have to say about this one. M and M's chocolate candies, white strawberry shortcake. I like how they just portray it being the whole piece of a shortcake there, so that's actually what what it's gonna taste like. Anyways, let's see if we can open this. Oh, good. Broke out the giant scissors just in case, but uh, could just easily open this with our bare hands this time around. Let's well, not do that. Okay. All right, you. You stay. You stay right there. I know, I'm filming this in a hurry, so I got just my standard monster today. So, from first glance, it looks like there's three types, three distinct types of M&Ms. Have the standard, one, two, yeah, three types. Standard white M&Ms, looks like. Have some beige-colored M's. And then you have some pink colored mims. So let's shuffle them up. Which means absolutely nothing and is a waste of time to do. Let's just try one of each and uh, we'll see. Okay. Try beige one now. I, I predict these will be similar to the cherry ones where it's just for decorative purposes and they all taste the same. Those two taste the same, I imagine this will too. There we go. 
Yeah. They all taste the same. They do. <laughs> That's something. Look at how small these are. Look at this. It's all so small and oversized one, anyways. Here's what they taste like, folks. White strawberry shortcake flavored M&Ms. All right. Two distinct flavors you're gonna notice. Actually, three, but two special flavors that aren't in any standard M&M otherwise, other than this. And this is strawberry and vanilla. Okay. Of course, it's milk chocolate candy, so you're gonna taste the chocolate as well. But that's to be assumed, right? It's to be assumed. If it's if it says it's chocolate, it ought to taste like chocolate to some degree. If it doesn't, you may want to check what you're eating and you know really make sure that's chocolate. But, nonetheless, here's what they are. The shell, of course, is always supposed to be crunchy. So it adds a crunchiness to it, that bit of texture to it, as expected for an M&M. The chocolate itself and the contents of the shell, you know, the little... I don't know if you really want to be specific to the, the M&M the M &M yolk, I guess. Um, you know, again, you just gotta, gotta chew it. It's, you know, harder chocolate. So you gotta chew it, and that softens it up, of course. Um, and what you're going to taste here, number one is the milk chocolate. That adds a sweetness to it, really. That's what it always does. It adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. Now, here's the two distinct flavors that you're going to notice. And unlike the cherry M&Ms, where I said, you know, there's a flavor itself. You can tell it's cherry, but it's a bit weaker. This is the exact opposite. These two flavors are strong. Strong to the extent where you're going to taste these, okay? You're going to taste these immediately. Stronger than the chocolate flavor, believe it or not. That's a strawberry flavor, um, a very rich strawberry flavor, very strong at that. And then a little bit weaker, but you're going to taste a little bit of a vanilla-y flavor as well. Um, again, the two main flavors you're going to taste in these M&Ms, and all three have the same flavors. The white M&Ms, the pink M&Ms, and the beige M&Ms, they all have the same flavor. So it doesn't matter if you say, I only want to eat the pink M&Ms because they have the best flavor. Someone says that, tell them that, you know, they're full of you-know-what, and they all taste the same because that's just the simple fact of the matter. Um, but nonetheless, you know, they all taste exactly the same, no differences in each. And you're going to notice, again, a stronger strawberry flavor, a weaker vanilla flavor, and then an even weaker, just, a, you know, a sweetness, which kind of ties everything together from the chocolate itself. Coupled with the little crunchiness of the shell, adds kind of a little bit of a mini texture to it all. And, in, and it actually adds to be, you know, a decent little snack. So white strawberry shortcake, M&M's. Um, I will have to credit them. They did a good job with the flavors. Um, nice, strong flavor, as I said. You know, pretty realistic flavor as well. And I got to credit them for that. You know, the little candies, they did a good job emulating that strawberry flavor and even the vanilla flavor. I think that's nice of them, and I think they did a good job there. So out of 10, what are we... Well, first off, let's get to prices. All right, this bag of M&M's costs anywhere between 3 and $5.00. Um, could be cheaper even if they're on sale. So, you know, probably between 2 and $5 for the bag. Um, depends on the retailer, really. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, varies but between, you know, store and store and the, the avarice of the owner, you know. But uh, anywhere in that range, anywhere in that range. You get a good amount of M&Ms in the bag, too. So now, out of 10, what are we rating these M&Ms? Well... Out of ten, really, I think they did a good job there. I think, uh, I think they did a good job. I think they had a really good representation of the flavors, good strong flavors, and uh, I think they really were were just on the money here. And I think they did a good job. So, out of ten, I'm going to be giving these an eight point six out of ten. In the M and M world, I think they did a good job. Um, I really do, definitely far above average. Um, really good flavor there, and you know, decent quantity for the price. So, I think they did a good job that the M and Ms did. I think they did. Well, that's all we got for you. I know today didn't go as planned, but we got a nice review out nonetheless for some very nice special M&Ms um, in white strawberry shortcake flavor. That's all we got for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Running on Empty Food Review. I'm your host, Report of the Week. We'll be catching you later with more reviews, so stay tuned for that. And until then, take care and have a good weekend. Ooh, I walked around the other way. Did you see that? Wow, that, that really took us by surprise there, huh? Crazy. Insane. Absolutely incredible.